Okay, so for you guys who are wondering, okay, so how do I underline, because it says please highlight or underline your answers in the text. Um, this is just a quick video to show you. So first, you're going to want to read the passage. You're going to click here, and it has the passage and the questions. So you would want to make sure that you already have a folder named ELA. I have one. But if you don't, go to desktop right here on the left. And then new folder. And I would name it ELA, which is English Language Arts. And I'm going to have to put a one after it because I already have one. And then you're going to hit enter. And then double click it. And then I'm going to hit save. It's got the name of it. However, I do want to put your last name or my last name in my case. So it's going to say leading lady. And then um, my last name. So same for you. It would say leading lady and then your last name. Then hit save and it will open it up. Right here is where it's at. <clears throat> We're going to open it. You'll want to make sure that um, you have everything enabled here. So enable editing right here. And here, you can highlight or do whatever you want. So the main idea of the passage is, and you're going to choose one, so let's just say that the main idea was this. I would left-click, drag, it's highlighted, and then I'm going to click this. This is my answer, and that's why I've selected it. If you want to, um, you're going to left-click, drag, and let's say that you want to highlight your answers in red. And it's not really highlighting. This is going to be changing the uh, color of the font. So that's going to make it red. You can do it either way you want. If you want to make the main idea yellow, you want to answer the other questions, um, highlighting in red. I just want you, if the option is available for you to find the answer within the text, I want you to either highlight or change the font for whatever area where you got your answer so that Miss Scorpio knows I found my answer here. So that's how I want you to do it, okay? Um, once you're done, you can't just submit it. You're going to have to hit save, and it'll keep it saved under your leading lady. So I'm going to hit save. And down below it said saving. Um, it was really fast, though. It says I clicked it one more time. So once you click it, it's done. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come back to Canvas. And I'm going to submit my assignment. Here I'm going to choose my file. And again, it's at the desktop. We did it in our ELA folder. I have ELA1. There it is, Leading Lady, Scorpio. I double-clicked it. And now it's here. You can see it. And that's it. You're going to hit Open and then Submit Assignment. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.